this demo, we're going to create an HPC cluster configuration by using ANSYS Gateway for ADT. So I'm going to go here to New Resource, HPC Cluster. I'm going to specify here the name for the cluster. And I'm going to select the availability zone. In this case, I have only one available zone. We're going to select after next, we're going to select the application that we're going to run. For this case, I'm going to select ANSYS Electronics Desktop 2022 R1. If I click in ANSYS Electronics Desktop, your ANSYS account manager representative uh, should provide you with a license server. You're going to specify that IP address here. Then I'm going to select next. And I'm going to select the instance type. So we can sort the instances by CPUs or by memory. Can increase here, it's already 100. So I'm going to select the M5D family. I'm going to select the 24x large, which is a 48 physical cores node with 393 gigabytes of RAM per node. This is the cost per node. I'm going to select next and I'm going to specify the number of nodes. I'm going to select four and the storage or the hard drive for this cluster. I'm going to select one terabyte here. Then I'm going to select next. Then here I'm going to select next as well. Here we have the summary of the HPC to be created, the name, the application to be installed, the instance or the hardware type that was selected, and we're going to select create the HPC cluster. So the machine is, the HPC cluster is in a starting stage right now. If I select the node details, the machine, the, the nodes are not ready yet. I have another machine that I created before. So I can see basically that in this case, this machine is already running and with the nodes already ready to be used. If you want to change the, basically the size of the nodes, you can do it from here. Increase or decrease the number of nodes. And this is the status. So in order to use a cluster, configuration, we're going to start a virtual machine. In this case, we're going to do a comparison regarding this family. So I have another virtual machine that I have created here. So this is the hardware configurations for this machine. It's a virtual machine with the same hardware configuration or instance. So I'm going to select connect and I'm going to start the remote desktop session. So I'm going to authenticate with my credentials. Now that I am in the virtual machine, so I'm going to use the same link that was provided to use ANSYS Gateway. And then I can see here in my workspace, the cluster that I just created, I'm going to select connect to this HPC configuration. So the current status is is just the file. So I'm going to select open and the application is going to start to set up the cluster. So now from my local workstation, I'm going to bring the mold that I'm going to simulate by using this HPC configuration. Now I can see the one terabyte of hard drive from the HPC configuration that I, cre that I selected at the beginning of the, when I created the HPC cluster. In user space, I'm going to add a folder and I'm going to paste them all here. Now in the GUI, I'm going to select the configuration for, each, for this HPC configuration. First, I'm going to select the location of the file. 
the folder that I just created. The mold is here. So I can select the alt setups in a project. This is the same mold that we used at the beginning of the training. So I'm going to select alt setups in a project. This project has only one design and one solution setup. And in the computer resources, I have the four nodes that I selected at the beginning of the HPC creation here. I'm going to select submit a job. And I'm gonna keep selected the begin monitoring this job right now. So the job is in running status right now. And we only need to wait for the simulation to complete. So we can abort the job if we want from here, but we can close the GUI as well. So after the job has been completed, I can open the mall and check the profile. I can see that the four nodes were used for, the, for this uh, simulation. And at the bottom of the profile, I can see that the total time was two hours and 20 minutes. The maximum RAM was 54 gigabytes. Close. I can export or create an archived version of the mall by including the results. And I can save it in the, in the desired location. So after the archive has been created, you can visualize the results. So I can close the mall as well. My platform, now I can stop the HPC cluster from here. And you can use OneDrive or Secure Transfer or Copy Paste to transfer the solve mold to your local workstation. So finally, we can close the remote desktop session and stop the virtual machine as well. And this is the comparison of the results. The model by using a single virtual machine with 48 cores was solved in six hours and eight minutes, with 06 seconds. The maximum RAM was 201 gigabytes of RAM. So the model that was solved by using four nodes with the same virtual machine, 192 cores, was solved in two hours and 20 minutes and 11 seconds, which is almost three times faster, 62% savings in time. This was the demonstration of how to use HPC and HPC cluster by using AWS Gateway, ANSYS Gateway, powered by AWS. Thank you for listening.